up completely. I lied. I'm going to pull up the drawing. It's right here. All right, so this is what I'm creating. Uh, I normally go about this by drawing two rectangles to start and then adding these pieces on, on the end. The middle rectangle was four and a quarter by two and seven eighths. All right, so I draw this one. I'm going to draw a line through the center of this because I'm going to end up moving it. The larger rectangle is two and a half plus two and a half plus a radius of a half plus a radius of a half. So I'm looking at five, five and a half, six. And then my height, which I believe is right over here, is four. There you go. Thank you. Yep. So it's uh, four plus a half plus a half. So I'm looking at, again, six plus five. So I'll draw another rectangle at six and five. I'm drawing a line through the middle to give me a point to move these two. So now I move this to the center. So this is the basic setup of this part. My corners right here had a half inch fillet. So F enter, R enter, 0.5 enter. And I'll select these two. There's interior fillets as well. I could add them after. So looking at these interior fillets, right here, quarter of an inch. So I'll do the same thing. Yep. F enter, oh, I went to the wrong part. F enter, R enter, 0.25. And I'll fill out these. All right, now I need to add the parts that are on the end. Unfortunately, my page over here got a little messed up where I was. These are located seven inches apart. You can see that dimension right here. And they're a half inch wide. So I'm bringing back the middle of this. And I'm going to go, ah, thank you, mm -hmm. half of seven this way, so three and a half. At this point, I draw a circle. That's a half. And now I need lines here. There is a fillet of a half inch. So what I'm going to do now is trim this. If I don't trim this line here, when I go to fill it, it's going to remove the line. So it's F enter, R enter, 0.5 enter. From here, I need this on the opposite side. I could do a whole bunch of things. I'm going to mirror and trim, just so I don't have to draw it again. And delete these. And the last thing that I would need to do is add the eight holes at a half inch diameter. So it's C enter, click, D enter, 0.5. And six of the eight are concentric with the other circles. All I'm doing is pressing enter to end and start. My next one is in line with these two points. So I'm using the wake up object snap. And that would be this entire drawing. 